Let's talk about the cats today. Um, dead cats are not what you, they're not roadkill. They're, as you can see here, I have a dead cat. This is a dead cat for the GoPro. It basically fits on the back door. As you can see, the door's got these holes for the sound still carry through, but this gets rid of your wind noise. And in the same way, here I have another one, which is for my DSLR. As you can see, there's the real mic, and then this just sits over the top of it. You can also fit them on mobile phones. Um, I'm going to put a tutorial in the link at the bottom here. Just to follow, if you follow through, the guy will go through what he, he's actually done for his. But I know with my Samsung, I do pick up some background noises sometimes, uh, especially. Uh, like yesterday when we went to the restaurant, there was a a lot of wind noise in the background because we're right on the beach. There's, you, you know, open space, you're going to get wind noise. These dead cats are fantastic for getting rid of it. Um, even better, that guy with the tutorial, um, you'll be able to make one yourself for your mobile phone. And I know some people are saying, well, buy a new camera, buy this, buy that. You know, what camera should I buy? And... Start off with what you've got. Um, the reason I say that is most of the issues you'll come across are down to understanding what you want to do with your vlogging. See, this is a directional mic. It's it. Let's take it out of there. As you can see, it's straight. The sound goes. You point, and it goes for the sound that's right in front of it. That's what it's after. The the other mics. Let's take an example. This one, which you probably can't see just off camera. The one I'm actually using for voice. I don't know if it's going to read without. Full. This one's more the sort of uh, stereo mic that you'll find like singers use and radio hosts that sort of stuff. It's a different type of mic. It, it picks up sound from different directions. Um, that's why they're called directional mics. Um, but the well, no, because the anyway, they they have different uses, and this is why I say don't go and buy a new camera. You may find you buy the DSLR. Mine's in the sitting room, and my camera equipment for my DSLR is about two thousand pounds. Well, I don't know what that is in dollars these days. And people keep asking, why do you keep quoting things in dollars? It's because a lot of people are American. Um, and they're not very, I'm not saying not all Americans are good at converting, but if I don't, they then ask me, can you convert it to dollars for me? So it's just easier to just go dollar price X. But it's, it's, it's a lot of money, let's put it that way, for a camera that you may not um, find it suitable for what you need. Like here, this GoPro is very small, it's compact, it's, it's very simple to use, stick on a selfie stick, great for walking around and just go, oh, look at this, look at that. In a crowd, you can lift it up over the top, can't do that with a DSLR, um, not very easily anyway. Uh, but the DS DSLR has some advantages, um, the camera quality is better. It's a better, I can change the lenses, I can change the... The, there's a lot of stuff you can do, you know, with the picture quality and stuff, and how you work it, you know, zooming in and zooming out. Because obviously, GoPro has a fixed lens, so does your phones. Um, there's another little tip for you when you're zooming in and out with a camera phone, don't use the zoom button, actually, move closer. It, it's <laughs> It may sound a bit obvious, but the zooming in and out, because of the, it's not a smooth mechanism, you just get zoop, 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 you know, like that sort of movement where it's not clear. For DSLR, get one of these. The fantastic, cheap, what it is is like a rubber band with a metal ring. Um, well, it's not even metal. Oh, this one is. You can get plastic ones with like a rubber ring. What it does is it fits around your lens and gives you a smoother movement. So you zoom in, zoom out, because when you're doing it with your hands, you've got the, you're going to put your fingers over the front and stuff like that. So these are pretty handy little bits of tool. Cost me two quid, I think, all the way from China. Um, so there's a few new handy tips. But like I'm saying, don't buy a camera yet. Get used to what you've got. Get good at what you've got. Um, 
I think we need to cover some actual footage stuff next uh, because we've done a. I've talked a lot about bits of equipment. Um, I think we should do some on something on lighting, uh, just to give you some examples. So the next video will be about lighting. And that says, do not buy a new camera if you've got a mobile phone and you're going on holidays or something soon. Just go around where you are and try different things. Go to the local cathedral, try and see what y your camera is capable of. Uh, the same as going into a train station, see what the echo sounds like, how much does it pick up. Would making a little dead cat like this actually stop a lot of the excess noise that you don't want? Um, go to the nearest beach or just stand on a hill or stand in the garden if you've got no fence and just see what the wind noise is like on your phone. Just try that stuff first and then go, right, where are we going to go on holiday? What are we going to do? Is the lens on my phone going to be good enough for photos? Because this is a different thing. This is why you need to think, am I vlogging or am I doing photos? Because DSLR, I use for photos. No, there's no getting away from that. The quality is much, much higher. Um, but for vlogging, I use the GoPro, I use my phone because I can wander around with it. With the DSLR, it's it's very bulky. Um, battery life is only about 30 minutes. I've actually just got a power adapter coming um, so I can actually do time lapse fed from the car battery. All right, thanks for watching.